Hi there. In this tutorial, we'll go over the basics of applying our animated typefaces to your project. An animated typeface comes in two different file formats, the classic After Effects file and a library of JSX files. Both formats contain exactly the same design and animation, but work slightly different. Let's have a look at the AEP file first. Simply open it or import it into your current project. You'll get a little pop-up telling you to update the file. This is because it's made to be compatible all the way back to CS6, and you're most probably working in a newer version of After Effects. In the project panel, you'll find folders with all the characters of the typeface. Everything is neatly organized in order to quickly find what you're looking for. If we open up a character comp, let's say the A, we'll find all the layers of artwork and animation, and a controller layer to customize the typeface. But we don't want to touch that here, so let's close the A comp again. In order to apply the animated typeface, simply drag and drop the characters you need onto a new composition. The characters will automatically appear in the order you've selected them. Let's quickly duplicate the L there. Now, position the type in any way you want. If you hit P on your keyboard, you can easily drag the X values to space everything out. Then select all characters and hit the Create Controller button on the free Animography Controller script. And boom! Like magic, all the controllers inside the character comps are linked to a new controller layer. Grab it to scale or move your word around. With the controller layer selected, open up the Effects panel to access the customizable settings. These are different for each animated typeface. If you want, you can offset the endpoints of each character to create a staggered animation. And there you have it. You'll notice that Animography Controller created a new folder called Written. This holds all the characters that are linked to your controller. When you create a new word, be sure to use fresh characters from the main typeface folders. A different way to set up your type is with Font Manager a tool with lots of features specifically designed to enhance the workflow of animated typefaces. We can skip all the manual steps we just did by simply selecting a typeface from the drop-down menu. Font Manager will recognize all animated typefaces in the project and the JSX typefaces you have installed. Type any word you want and set things like size, time offset, and alignment. Now hit Write Text, and Font Manager will take care of everything. The controller layer is also automatically created. With Font Manager, you can even unlink certain characters to change individual settings. Even more convenient is the way Font Manager handles typefaces in the JSX format. Unlike the classic AEP format, you don't have to import these into your project, because they are loaded from a folder outside of After Effects. This way, you always have all your typefaces at hand, without cluttering your file with unnecessary assets. After installing a JSX typeface, simply select it from the drop-down list and write any word. Font Manager and all the animated typefaces have free trials available. This way, you can try it out before deciding on it. For more info on how to install and use JSX typefaces, please watch our in-depth tutorial. For now, thanks for watching, and see you next time.